Raid al Dashan has worked for the Palestinian civil defense in Gaza City for 23 years. When there's a war here, these are the people who put out the fires and dig through rubble for survivors. But they don't always have the equipment they need. معدات سيارات دفاع مدني سيارات انقاذ سيارات اطفاء سيارات اسعاف ايضا ممنوعه من الدخول لذلك نحن في جهاز الدفاع المدني نعاني بشكل كبير سيارات نباليه متهالكه اما ان تق وان تتخلى واما ان تستمر في تقديم هذه الخدمه Gaza City is one of the most densely populated in the world. Around 750,000 people live here under a tight blockade. With Hamas in control of Gaza, Israel and Egypt have imposed strict, punitive restrictions on what and who can go in and out. There are chronic shortages of fuel, electricity and medical supplies. Gaza City has seen three wars with Israel in the past 10 years. Everyone here expects another war will come, sooner or later. But how can a city under perpetual threat of conflict prepare itself? Abdul Rahim Komboz is head of the Gaza municipality. This is a border. There. It's up to him to make sure the city functions, whether there's a war or not. This time, car to go ahead. خلصت شغلي وبشرب قهوة بدي أخذ مرجع والله يا عم. معطل الراجل ومعطل حالك عن الشغل. حبيبي ولا ولا. بتشد حيلك وما تعدهاش. ولا يهمك. عبد. في الثلاثة وثمانين. كنا نشتغل بمواصفات أفضل أنا كنت أشتغل أستخدم اللي هي الآليات أو السيارات الضاغطة الكومباكتور التراكس لكن اليوم أنا أستخدم أداة بدائية وهي الكارة التي يجرها الحيوان الجرافة بتشتغل قديش اللي عندك الديناين تشغلها ست ساعات قديش استهلاك سولار عندك؟ اه لا بدنا بدنا يعني تصير عمليه تقنين لان تعرف وضع السولار وضع صعب التوقعات موجوده أن يكون في حرب وممكن تكون في اي لحظه حرب احنا بنركز انه يوصل الميه تصل لنا الصرف الصحي ما يطفحش بشكل يشكل مشكلة على الصحة العام وهذه الأمور من مهمات اللي هي قطاع البلديات أنت اليوم تتكلم عن حوالي نص قطاع غزة بده نعمل له اللي هو إيش إخلاء فهذه أكبر من أي من قدرة قطاع غزة على استيعاب هذه الأعداد مشكلة بتواجه قطاع غزة هي انقطاع التيار الكهربائي المتواصل لعشرين ساعة متواصلة هذه بتضرب كل الخدمة زي ما انت شايف هاي الجزئية هذه قدرنا نشغلها لكن الناس اللي هان هم مطفين زي ما انت شايف نقدرش نشغل كله مع بعض لازم شوية شوية
Shifa Hospital is the biggest not only in Gaza City, but the entire Gaza Strip. It relies on fuel-powered generators for electricity and is currently missing 45% of essential medical supplies. There just aren't the drugs available to stockpile for a war. Major things are missing that would make saving lives easier than now. Yeah. They can see this. It's broken. So we need to operate with one light. But we actually deal with all, all sorts of trauma and all sorts of patients. In 2014, yeah, I witnessed like the war, the war. It was hell, don't know, hell on earth. And I told myself back then, if I can deal with all of this, I think like, I can deal with whatever else in surgery. There was a shortage in supplies back then, but the major problem was the number of the cases, because we are not really prepared to deal with that number of patients. There were 20 people at the same time coming in, and we are like five doctors or six doctors. Thank you. There is no war now, and we are in a shortage. We need the supplies to be there. Maybe we need the war not to happen. <laughs> ما في تعليمات بصراحة إنه الحرب تيجي فجأة حياة رعب حياة خوف في شيء أمان كلنا معرضين للقتل. Alfred Cord was born and raised in Gaza City. Now she's raising four kids of her own here in Shejaia, just 500 meters from the border with Israel. She's had to evacuate her family from their home three times already. If war comes to Gaza City again, her only option is still to run. Gaza is not prepared to be in a place where there are only people who can be able to get out of it. It's possible to be able to get out of the school, even if it's not the government. مدارس الوك... تابعة لوكالة الغوث فقط لا غير وهي يعني مش مناسبة لناس لاجئين لا فيها أدوات صحية أدوية لا فيها إسعافات انتشر أمراض انتشر أوبئة ما قدروا يسيطروا عليها إذا الحكومة المسؤولة عن المواطنين مش مجهزة حالها بدي جهز حالي أنا It's been almost four years since the last war but another one never feels far away Every Friday for the past few months, Palestinian protesters have clashed with Israeli soldiers on the border near Olfet's home. Several Palestinians have been killed. Olfet and her husband drive through the aftermath to meet their friends. Why are we going to get out of here? Huh? Yes.
جاهزة إني أشرد 